can see the, the cradle is... Oh, the cradle's full open. ...is opening and it's just finished opening uh, on your screen there. The little arm is just beneath the fairing. One more interesting change for this mission relates to the Merlin engines themselves. Strong back lowers I did strong backs at 88.2 degrees. So let's listen in to the last couple minutes of terminal count. Stage two locks loads closed out. Falcon 9 lift off in a beautifully clear shot there uh, at 4.14 p.m. Eastern. Uh, at T plus 10 seconds, the thrust vector control system vehicle is tilted Falcon to begin a pitch kick maneuver to get it going sideways. You just heard that uh, we're going supersonic and we're about to go through max Q when the rocket's pushing hardest against the atmosphere. achieved that major milestone of every rocket launch. Uh, we're actually decreasing the thrust in our engines a little bit around the time of max Q to minimize some of those forces. Coming up about uh, 50 seconds from now, Head back into chill. Uh, there'll be three events in quick succession. The main engines will cut off, the two stages will separate, 
and the second stage will start its Merlin vacuum engine, uh, which you heard is just beginning its own chill procedure. Cutoff happening just a few seconds from now. The next major event is uh, the fairing deploy coming up just a few seconds from now. That's the second stage that we'll be deploying. In At this point, the Falcon 9 first stage is actually only about 10% of the mass that it was in the pad. So it's actually pretty empty of fuel and liquid oxygen right now. So this entry burn is only going to last a few more seconds before cutting off. And there it is. As that first stage gets closer and closer to the surface of the Earth, uh, we should be able to see features such as clouds, waves, and eventually the outline of our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. It looks like there may be some condensation forming on the inside of the camera, but uh, we should get some good, uh, good video. Um, on the right-hand side of your screen, again, that second stage is still continuously uh, propelling Bangamandu Satellite 1 into orbit. Uh, looks like we may have lost video from the cameras on that first stage momentarily. Uh, we'll see if we can get them back. Uh, it, one thing that is unique about this mission uh, is that the second stage engine cutoff is going to happen just before the landing, coming up in about 20 seconds or so. You can see in your mission status bar at the very bottom, the second stage engine cutoff and landing are right on top of each other, so uh, be prepared for those two events to happen in quick succession. So it looks like we don't have a great video signal with that first stage right now, but we do have confirmation that the landing burn has started. Those landing legs should be deploying very soon. There it is. <laughs> and after a brief interruption in the video signal, uh, we are looking at the 25th recovered first stage of a Falcon 9 here. Uh, what a great sight. Uh, that is a camera on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Uh, the crowd's going nuts here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne. Uh, while all that was happening, while all that was happening, uh, we did have a successful second stage engine cutoff of that uh, second stage carrying Bangabandu Satellite 1. Uh, so uh, uh, while we're all very excited here at SpaceX to recover our 25th booster, uh, the primary mission is still to bring Bangabandu Satellite 1 into geostationary transfer orbit. Uh, right now, everything's looking good from that second stage. Uh, it's going to coast for about 17 minutes or so. We're not going to be with you for all of that. We're actually going to just look at a simulation of where that second stage is. However, we will come back in approximately 9 or 10 minutes to guide you through the rest of the satellite deployment.
launch at 4.14 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, great stage separation. We caught the first stage on the drone ship, of course, I Still Love You, and the second stage had an excellent burn, maintained great uh, chamber pressure through the whole time, uh, and during the coast period, it's been keeping its propellants well settled in their tanks, which is important for uh, uh, getting the second stage its second burn. That's coming up uh, just a few seconds from hope happening right now. Uh, this burn is going to last for a total of about one minute, and it's going to raise the orbit from being just a couple hundred kilometers above the surface of the Earth into a geostationary transfer orbit where the maximum altitude is 36,000 kilometers uh, above the surface of the Earth. So uh, in these few minutes before separation at this point, only a couple more things are going to be happening. We're bleeding our propellant lines down uh, to bring down the pressure in the plumbing. Uh, after the burn is complete, that is, uh, which is, should be happening uh, in about 15 or 20 seconds from now. saw it. Uh, the second stage completed its second burn. Let's take a few moments to make sure that we've entered the expected orbit. Good final orbit.